Hi, I'm going to show you how to create a three-dimensional scatter plot in Power BI with the help of some Python code. So this is a pretty good plot because we can filter it by some of the dimensions there and you can see the code will run and then we'll get a different layer of that three-dimensional scatter plot. We're going to be using a diamond data set and this data set is going to have the carrot size, the price, and the depth of the diamond which we're going to work with. So let's jump over to a Jupyter Notebook and start coding this out and just indicate what I'm doing in each step. Bring in the packages we're going to use. So we're going to import pandas as pd, numpy as np. Both of these packages are kind of the fundamental part of data manipulation. So I always bring them in just in case I have to. We're going to use Seaborn, which is going to have our data set in our visualization library as SNS. And you can see in each one of these imports, I'm saving it as a variable to make it easier to code. Bring in matplotlib, which is also a visualization library, dot pyplot as plt. Then I am going to have to bring in the library that allows me to make this in a three-dimensional figure, underscore toolkits the mplot3d, and then I'm going to import axis 3d. Next thing I want to do is load in my data set, the Seaborn data set. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to use the Seaborn package, csns.load underscore data set. And then I'm going to bring in a diamond. We can I'm going to create another cell with escape and B to get the next cell. And I'm just going to take a look. And I also want to save this as DF as my data set. So df.head to see the top of our data, just to give you an idea what it looks like. So I'm going to run both of these cells. You can run them individually or you can go to cell and you can just run all. And you can see here are our particular dimensions and our metrics. So we have carrot size, cut, color, clarity, depth, table, price, and then we have the actual dimensions of the diamond here. So now that I have that, I want to set my X, Y, and Z variables. So that three dimensions. So X I want to have as, and I'm using DF, which is my data set here. And I'm going to isolate the column that I want and paste it and then just alter that. So then for Y and then for the final one, we'll call this axis definitions. Now let's create our figure. So I'm going to create the figure that you see in our matplotlib, that three dimensional space. And then I'm going to use PLT, which is our matplotlib variable. And I'm going to do figure. And then it, within that, you can see what's inside that function, just pressing your shift tab. And you can see we have quite a lot there. So I am going to create the size that I want. So I'm going to create a fixed size because I want it completely square. So I'm going to pass in this tuple and I'm just going to say six by six. And then if we run that, been created, but now we need to define that. So now I can call this my figure as my variable because I want to use it again. And now we can use AX, so fig and axis, to define our axis. And I'm going to use axis 3D that we have here. And then all I need to do is make that into a function by encapsulating with parentheses. And you can see it takes the figure here. And we just created that figure, so we can just write FIG. And then the last thing we need to do is add 
at the axis. So we're gonna use fig.addAxis so we can add all of the 3D axis. And then we're gonna pass in this variable x. So we created our figure, we created a 3D figure and then using these, define those three different axes, x, y, and z. Make sure I see a little typo here, we need z. So we have x, y, and z, and we passed in our axis. And then if you run that, you can see what happens is we get this three dimensional space. This deprecation warning is uh, not to be worried about. It's just a warning. And you won't see this in Power BI. It's in Jupyter Notebooks. So now we have our three-dimensional space. Now let's create our plot. And now we're going to use that AX, and then we're going to use scatter. And because we already defined that we got three our axes, we can use X, Y, and Z. X, comma, Y, comma, Z. The basic 3D scatter plot. Of course we want to style this up. So if we press shift tab, you can see we have a whole host of things that we can do. And what I'm going to do is define the color, the size, and we might even change the alpha, but there's a lot you can do here. So let's first define how the color should increase or de decrease in shade depending on one of these variables. So, and then, of course, if you change these from, let's say, depth, you put price in the Z and you put depth here, you are going to get a different shape. And you see if I run that, now you can see that, that shape here. And then you can see our price here. We definitely want to set the name of our axes, but let's first optimize this a little bit. So we're going to change the color and I want to emphasize the Z color or the, because that's my price. So if I put color equals Z and I run that, you can now see that we get this color here. We can also change the size of those individual markers. So if I put size equals 40, you will see those increase to them. So I'm going to use edge color and I'm going to pass in red and you'll be able to see each one of those are encapsulated by red. Usually it's nice to just put them black. So now you can see that this three dimensional space name these axes so it's easy for us to trace. Let's say set access axes names and we can say ax dot set and then we want to set what we want to set the x label and we can just pass in what x is so if we go back up to our x we see x is carrot we can pass in carrot i'm going to copy and paste this two more times price so i'm going to change from x to z price and then we know this one is our depth and now that we will have the name of the axes you can also change the color here with the c map parameter and that's a color map for matplotlib so i'm going to change this to magma and if you see we run all this our plot will be changed a bit what we can do is make this interactive in our notebook but that interactive nature will not be in your functions in Power BI. So I just want to show you this so you can see how to change the view. So if I go up here and I put in this command, and let's also say what we're doing. So this is only going to work in Jupyter Notebooks. And then I'm going to write matplot, lib, and then notebook. And that's going to make our plot more interactive by adding some controls. And I'm going to run that. And you can see this figure here. And you can also see there is some controls here. We are given some new information on where things are. So if I pull this over, you can see there's a new parameter that tells us the degrees and where everything is and we can also add those in so now you can also turn this off 
and you will have your 3D plot. You can take note of those commands and then just to have this for your information, we can alter the viewpoint and we can do that with our AX variable and then we can call ASIM and then we can change that equals. We can add that parameter. So if I add 100 here and I run this, you can see where things are now and I run that. You can see that the direction has changed. So we already have our, and you can see now that's upside down. The other one is elevation. So it's AX dot, for example, if I, and we run that, then you can see it flips in another direction. Interactivity, because I don't need it, but I'll leave it in the Jupyter Notebook. I am also going to comment out these two because I like things as default. Add this to our Power BI Notebook. So we have this in now, but I need to show you how to bring this in. So we have a blank notebook. We're going to go over to Get Data. Let me turn this off. We're going to go to Get Data. Then we're going to go to more and then you're going to write in Python and your Python script. Then we can go back over to our Jupyter notebook. We can get our code that we brought in the data set here. And we also need to remember that we need to bring in Seaborn. So we're going to get this part. And I'm just going to eliminate that string. So we're going to bring that in as DF. We're going to run that. And what you'll be presented with is the data frame DF as that variable. So we have DF, we bring this in and we load that. So now that we have our data set in, I like to bring everything in. You're not required to bring all of these dimensions and metrics in when you create a Python visual, but it's going to ask you for them. So first we want to enable it. And I'm just going to bring everything in because what everything does, it allows me to expand that data set and allows for some other functionality that we we won't get at in a Jupyter Notebook and we can get in Power BI. So I am going to first, I'm going to copy all of this except for the viewpoint and we're going to have to alter it a little bit. So I don't need this because it's cut off. First of all, we don't actually need to bring in the data set. So we're going to comment that out because the data set is already created for us. But what we're going to have to do is by default, our data set is called data set. So I'm going to rename the variable because we use DF, but in Power BI, they call it data set and it's just too long to write. So data set. So we have DF equals data set. And then let's make sure we don't have any errors here. I see an indent and then we set our axis. So let's run that and see what happens. We have an error. Oh, so the last thing you need to do in uh, Python in Power BI, as in Jupyter Notebook, you don't need this command. So we need to show the visual. And we use our matplotlib variable, PLT, and we use the function show. And that should, and I'm going to stretch this out, and I'm going to run that. And there's your 3D visual. And you can see that everything is there. The, the great thing about putting this in Power BI that, and having this extended data set is you can use dimensional filters. For example, I can bring in cut here and I can turn this into a filter. And what this does is minimizes the data set and it runs the Python code so you can see different variations of that data. And you can see if I, even if I bring in another dimension, let's say the color of the diamond, and we turn that into a filter, 
And these are the different colors. I can change that to F and then we can even further reduce that data set to give us a different 3D visual. And if we go back to my original, I just style, I just use a slightly different color set and I turn this into horizontal and you can see that runs very well. So I hope this is a great way for you to use a 3D scatter plot in Python and Power BI. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.